Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello viewers. We are back again with a new topic on Weka. In our previous session, we have installed Weka on Windows and Ubuntu platform. Today, from this session, we are going to start exploration of Weka. Let's start the session. The Weka GUI Chooza provides a starting point for launching Weka's main GUI application and supporting tools. We can broadly classify the Weka GUI into two sections, menu items and applications. We are starting with program menu item. It contains the GUI settings and log window. This log window captures all that is printed to std out and std error. Those are useful for environments like Windows, where Weka is normally not started from terminal. Next one is Visualization tab. It contains different options to visualize the data using Weka. The first one is Plot tab. We can generate different types of 2D plot using this uh, tab. We are considering the Irish data set. We can set the X and Y variables and it will generate a 2D scatter plot. The next one is ROC. Rock displays a previously saved rock curve. We use tree visualizer for displaying decision tree. This graph visualizer helps to visualize Bayesian networks. The final one is boundary visualizer. It helps us to visualize the classification boundary. Let's choose a data set. We are choosing Irish data set. Now we have to choose a classifier. Let's choose logistic classifier. Then take plot training data and start. So these are the boundaries among Irish Setosa, Versicola and Virginica. I'm closing this. Now the tools menu item. It contains package manager which is a graphical interface to Weka's package management system. Next one is ARF Viewer which is an MDI application for viewing ARF files in spreadsheet format. Let's choose a ARF file. So we are choosing the same Irish data set. So it is displaying the data in a spreadsheet format. Next one is SQL Viewer. It represents an SQL worksheet via JDBC. The final one is Base Data Data, which is basically an application for editing, visualizing and learning BaseNet. Now help section. All the online resources are available in this section. It also contains system info which contains list of system information about uh, Java and Weka environment. We can get Weka Home, Java Home, Java Runtime version and many more from here. So with this we are finishing the menu items. So it's the time for applications. We are starting with Explorer which is an environment for exploring data with Weka. We can do all type of machine learning and data processing operation using this explorer. So this is the environment for Weka Explorer. Any application starts from pre-processing. We can add a data set from file or directly from URL or from databases. We can also generate data using this generate option. Let's choose a sample data set from file. We are choosing the same IDish data set. If you notice, all the tabs are highlighted now, means they are ready to use. This current relation section tells about the data set. IDish data set has 150 observations of 5 attributes and these 3 sections explain all the attributes in detail. When we click on different rows in the list of attributes, this section displays the characteristics of the currently highlighted attribute in the list. As we select sepal width, this section is highlighting the statistical characteristics of sepal width. The maximum and minimum value are 4.4 and 2 respectively. 
the mean is 3.054 and standard deviation is 0.434. In this attribute, we have 23 distinct values and only 5 unique values and it does not have any missing data at all. The pattern of the data are displaying using a histogram. In case of nominal attribute, selected attribute section displays the characteristics with number of levels with associated data counts. And this data also be visualized by histogram. Now filter option. We can choose data and requirement specific filter from here. After selecting the specific filter, we have to use apply and the filter will be applied to the data set. I am skipping this part for future. Let's move to the classify. All the classification and regression algorithms are available in this section. From the classifier, we have to choose the problem specific rule. As the target attribute of Irish dataset contains three responses, we can choose any classification model like logistic regression, SVM or tree-based models like a J48 or random forest. Let's choose the logistic model. We can select the test options from this box. In the first option, use training set. The complete data set will be used for training and testing purpose. In the second option, a separate test set will be supplied from external sources. The third option is for cross-validation. We can set the number of folds from the same option. Using the percentage split, we can split the data set into training and test set. This percentage is for training set and the remaining will be for the test set. We can set many other options like uh, evolution matrices and output models from these more options. Let's set this to the training set. We set the target variable in this position. In Irish, the target variable is class. With the pressing of start, we will start model generation and data fitting process. And the result is available in this classifier output section. For this specific model, the accuracy is over 98%. Similar to this, we can use cluster algorithms in cluster section. In case of association mining rules, our workspace is associate section. Now, Select Attribute section. Attribute selection involves searching through all possible combinations of attributes in the data to find which subset of attributes works best for prediction. We can choose a specific attribute evaluator and search method to choose the best subset of attributes. This visualization section allows us to visualize 2D plots of current data. Finally, AutoWaker. Given a specific data set, AutoWaker explores hyperparameter settings for many algorithms and recommends the best method using model-based optimization techniques. This log option will generate the log of the session. With this, we are finishing Waker Explorer. Now Weka Experimenter. It helps to create, run, modify and analyze experiments in a more convenient manner than impossible when processing in schemes individually. So this is the environment for Experimenter. Any experiment will start from new. Then we have to add a new data set. Let's choose the Irish data set again. Now from this algorithms option, we have to set number of algorithms. Suppose we can choose logistic regression, then support vector machine or even any tree based method. After complete analysis, this experimenter will tell which algorithm performs best for this data set and we can choose that for further analysis. It is the time for knowledge flow. It provides an alternative to the explorer as a graphical front-end to wake score algorithms. 
It presents a data flow inspired interface to Weka. We can select Weka steps from this design panel. Suppose we are choosing ARF loader, then from the evolution we are choosing class assigner and we can easily connect them together using different rules. So basically it will form a knowledge flow for processing and analyzing data. Now simple CLI. It provides full access to all Weka classes. It offers a simple Weka shell with separate command line and output. We can write any command in this section and it will generate the result in here. Now finally Workbench. From Weka 3.8.0 this Workbench is available. It provides an all-in-one application container for all the major Weka GUIs described earlier. The Explorer's main panel and plugin panels are appeared as separate perspectives in the Workbench. However, all other applications Experimenter, Knowledge Flow and Simple CLI are also available in the same panel so that we can get everything from the same place. With this we are finishing our demonstration in Weka. So we have explored all the menu items and applications of Weka. That's all for today.